Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to factory reset your HP all-in-one desktop computer to factory settings running Windows 10. So hopefully this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial for you guys to follow. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're going to begin by opening up the Start menu just by left clicking on the Start button one time. And into the Start menu, you want to type in Reset. Best match to come back or reset this PC right above system settings. Just want to left click on that option one time to open up the settings window here. Now if we direct our attention over to the right underneath recovery, reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall as Windows. Left click on get started right here. And then we're going to have two options, either keep your files or remove everything. Even though it says keep your files like keep personal files, it's still going to remove apps and settings and I would not bank on it saving anything so I would still highly suggest creating a backup to a flash drive or DVD or CD or similar device and we also have the option to remove everything which remove all personal files, apps and settings which is what we're going to do because we want to do a complete factory reset for this tutorial so I selected the second option that we were presented with And then we're going to be prompted we want to clean the drives as well. So if we're going to be donating or giving our computer to somebody else, I would suggest selecting the second option to remove files and clean the drive. However, most people, if you're going to be holding on to your computer, I would just say select the first one, just remove my files. It'll be a little quicker as well, this process. And finally, we're going to have to confirm that resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC, all apps and programs, and any changes made to the settings. This will take a while and your PC will restart. Left click on this reset button to begin this process. Again, it will take some time, so please be patient, let it run. And once we get back to some prompts that require some further action, I will begin the narration again.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here, it should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Hello everyone, I'm back. So our HP All-in-One desktop has been factory reset back to factory state. So at this point, you should be good to go. do hope I was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.